pre-event sports massage, left foot. Stretching of the top of the foot with your thumbs. Okay, now we're going to start by stretching the top part of the foot. These are very simple to perform and they are very effective in opening up the joint and in stretching the muscles in the foot. Now, you have to basically place your thumbs like this and by applying pressure with the other fingers, you stretch the entire top part of the foot. Now I'm going to show it to you again. So we take the top part of the foot, we place our thumbs on top and our fingers underneath and you do these stretching movements. This has to be done for one or two minutes. Then it's really up to you and depending on how stiff uh, the foot is um, and decide whether or not uh, to uh, extend this exercise for longer. Squeezing of the bottom of the foot with your fists. Okay, now we have to squeeze the bottom of the foot with our fists. So first we rub some cream just to uh, loosen up the muscles. And then, as you can see, with my right hand in this case, I'm uh, holding the foot firmly. And then with my left hand and with the knuckles of my closed fist, I squeeze the tissues at the bottom of the foot. Now, this will improve uh, blood supply and causing hyperemia. And it would also help to remove uh, any excess toxins. After this, uh, the color of the skin in the foot will change. It will turn pink. Now, I'll show it to you again. We rub some cream. We spread it throughout the surface of the foot, both on top and on the bottom. Then I wrap my hand around the top part of the foot and then with my closed fist uh, I squeeze the tissues. Now unless uh, it hurts, uh, and which is rare, unless somebody suffers from fasciitis, which is an inflammation of the muscle fascias in the foot, this can be very pleasant. It improves elasticity and it's really one of the basic sports massage because it really loosens up the muscles and so that and it improves the elasticity which will give that outburst of energy and um, make the best uh, for for performance in terms of performance extension of the fingers of the toes and rubbing of each single toe so stretching of the toes and then rubbing each single toe so first we have to fold them we have to bend them forward and then backwards so we hang on to the foot firmly and then we bend them first forward and then backwards. Now you need to apply some pressure here. You can do this uh, three, four, five times depending on how stiff the person is. But as you can see here, I wrap my hand around the toes and then I bend them as much as I can. Then I will work on each single toe and you need to stimulate the nerves here on each single toe which will then be reflected on the uh, nerve endings that we find in each single joint because in pre-event massage we really have to um, um, create this um, nervous and muscle um, excitement so that the person will be ready to face the, the, the event. So as you can see I'm really warming up each single joint this is also very pleasant to receive. Rubbing of the entire foot. Okay, so I rub some cream. And then uh, I warm up the foot. Then I hook on to the foot and I start rubbing. Now this has to be quite uh, vigorous and it really has to be needed, to be performed fast even faster than, the, than how I'm going. You rub all the top part of the foot first and then you try to warm up the bottom part of the foot. Uh, try to alternate so that you don't tire out too quickly. And then you conclude with uh, an even 
massage, so with a slow motion massage. Deep kneading of the bottom of the foot using your nails. Now, <clears throat> so as you can see here, I hook on to the foot with my two hands and then I stimulate the nerves, uh, in particular uh, in the center fascia of the foot and I'm using my finger, my nails, so as to overexcite the nerves, the nervous part. Now, my suggestion is that you should start gently at first because the person might otherwise jump off the bed and then you slowly and gradually increase the pressure. So as you see that the person is relaxing, not that you want him to relax but mm, too much because he wants to prepare for a tender, but relaxation deserves that he accepts your massage. Now, you probably haven't noticed, but in all the steps that I've shown you, I haven't really specified the duration of each exercise. That's because I want you to start to customize your uh, therapy, depending on uh, the customer who's receiving the therapy. Now, normally it takes 30 to 60 seconds or maximum two minutes for each single step depending also on what you need to do. Obviously, if you need to work on the entire, on, on the foot only, you can devote more time to it. But if you work on the whole body, then uh, uh, when you've done this for 30 seconds to something like this, that will be more than enough. Drumming of the bottom of the foot. Okay, now we need to move on to the uh, drumming exercise. Now, I hope you appreciate this uh, view because I really had to uh, um, do my best to uh, show you in, in the most effective way how to do this technique. Now, as you can see here with my uh, uh, left hand, I'm holding the foot firmly because otherwise it would slip. And with the other hand, I am doing this drumming uh, movement throughout the bottom of the foot. Now don't do this for too long because you might cause an inflammation in the foot. So as you can see here I start from the bottom from the heel and then I start drumming in several steps. This stimulation um, will overcharge the nervous and muscle structure, the nervous system and the muscle structure in the foot, so as to make the structure as reactive as possible to any kind of uh, stimulation that it will receive during the event. Mobilization of the ankle. Mobilization of the ankle. Okay, so as you can see, we have to grab the foot from underneath. And now, this is very simple, it's part of my basic course massage. Uh, but it's very important because the joint must be as loose as possible so as to have that uh, um, best performance uh, during uh, the race, for example. So, we will, um, on top of what I already taught you, I'm also going to add this twisting exercise. This is where I twist the ankle on one side first. You may also hear those crackle sounds but don't worry, these are just air bubbles popping inside the joint. Uh, nothing's breaking, in fact. So you do one side first and then the other. As you can see, I cross my fingers I, and I twist the ankle. This can be quite, um, it, it can be a little painful. So I'll show it to you again here. You do the inside part first and you hold it firmly and then you do the outer side. It usually hurts when you twist it from the outer side, but again, uh, you need to uh, uh, follow through the whole movement. Rubbing of the ankle. Okay, we rub some cream or oil first, and then we stimulate by rubbing the ankle so as to produce as much heat as possible, the entire ankle. Now, the, uh, the foot will move inevitably in this exercise. As you can see, I have uh, my hands one on one side and the other, and then I start rubbing throughout the surface of the ankle. I can use them, uh, my hands, or alternate the movement. The important thing is that you create 
heat, which is the energy that will be absorbed by the body. This will improve the blood supply, which will in turn remove toxins and create that nervous and muscle overexcitement. Pre-events, sports massage, left foot. Okay, so now we moved on to the other foot, as you can see. And um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a, a rundown of all the different steps that we've done. Now we're working on the right foot. So, we start stretching the tissue, as I said before. You be the judge of how long this has to last, uh, depending always on how stiff the foot is or on the pain that the, uh, the, we, the client is uh, feeling. Then, we need to pass on, move on to the squeezing of the bottom of the foot with our fists. So, you grab the foot and hold it firmly with one hand, and then with your right hand, you dig in to the muscle fascias at the bottom of the foot. Now, this is a very deep massage, but it's very pleasant, but you have to do it uh, gradually. So, at the beginning, start gently. Then, as you can see that the client or the athlete accepts this type of massage, then you can increase the pressure. At the end of it, the person will feel very light in the feet, and they will really feel uh, prepared for uh, an event, at least as far as the feet are concerned. Then, when you'll do this also on the legs and uh, on the vertebral column, you'll be finally able to transform your client into a war machine. Now we have to move on to the stretching of the toes, first on one side, then on the other. So we hook on to the toes and we do this stretching. First on one side and then in a downward movement. And then we do this for a couple, couple of times. You see, I'm just running through this very quickly because we've already done this on the other foot. This is just to uh, give you uh, a summary of uh, the whole technique. Then we're going to work on one finger, one toe at a time. So starting from the little toe, you rub it and rub it and warm it up. You really have to feel that, it, that the temperature is uh, rising and that the circulation is, is increasing. Do this uh, one toe at a time. If it hurts, slow down. This is obviously a basic rule that applies to all the massage techniques that I'm going to teach you. Then you work on the big toe. Now, it's interesting to note, you know, uh, the names of the toes in Italian, we have a little name for each toe, whereas in English you only have uh, yeah, the, uh, the small toe, the big toe, the second, third, and fourth toe. So, mm, I'm sure that was curious and interesting enough. But anyway, uh, now I stimulate the bottom of the foot with my fingers and with my nails, digging into the tissue. It's uh, very pleasant to receive. And now, although this is only a summary of what I've already shown you, the basic rule always applies that you can always pause this video, rewind, and watch it over again if you need more time to, uh, to learn this. These are very simple techniques, especially uh, easy to apply, but they're very effective. Now, we're going to look at the drumming exercise. So starting from the heel, you move upwards. This is the right direction. And you start drumming on the bottom of the foot. This is probably one of the few techniques that I wouldn't recommend doing for a long time, just so as you don't irritate the foot. I mean, the stimulation is good, but especially when you work on the center, in the center part, this may cause irritation. So after a few uh, times that you do this, you should move on to something else. Now we're going to work on the joint. So first we need to stretch it in a downward movement. And here you can also hear those crackle sounds because of the, uh, the joint is uh, actually loosening up. And then you do it in an upward movement. You repeat this again. Do this again. You see, I'm uh, applying pressure with my left hand, and with the other one, I'm uh, holding it firmly. And then we move on to the twisting movement. So I grab onto the foot, and I twist the foot first from the inner side, and then from the outer side. Okay, in conclusion, 
we do an overstimulation so as to warm up the part as much as possible, which heat is then absorbed by the body of the entire ankle. So first you rub it with your hand, both hands even. This is, may tire you out a lot and uh, uh, you know this you really need to put a lot of effort into this but the results are amazing and the athlete will really be excited mm, both during and during the treatment and also when they will be finally uh, uh, in the race or in the event they will be very grateful towards you and towards the work that you've done on them small detail obviously they're going to ask you more often and this will improve and this will uh, require more effort on your part Benvenuto.